crap. Fuck. Shit. Uh, hmm. My language, sorry, not appropriate. I apologize. Um, nice to meet everyone. <laughs> Shit. Jeffrey, where did you find this one? Who hasn't dropped a bag of groceries before? Ladies, this is my assistant. This is Ryan. Ryan, I would like you to meet Charlie. Hi. Hey. And Olivia. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Olivia, was it? This is um, Joel, my... Fiance. 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 Joel, congratulations. That's wonderful. Thank you. It's a very recent development. Yeah, I mean, I finally figured what the fuck, right? <laughs> I don't want to be with anybody else, and I certainly can't imagine her being with somebody else, so... I figured, why not finally make it legal? Hmm? That is so beautiful. To be loved like that must feel fucking incredible. Yeah, wow. Congratulations. Thank you. To find someone you can, you know, be totally open and honest with and be completely yourself with, wow, that does gotta feel fucking incredible. Ah. <laughs> I'm so jealous. I can't stop talking right now. This is awkward. Um, nice meeting you all. Now, if you'll excuse me, someone's got to clean up on L7. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ladies, let's let's let the men do their magic and uh, we'll check in later. Okay. All right, thanks. Tonight, let's fucking celebrate love. <laughs> let's start now. Champagne, please. Good. Let's let's uh, let's get Kurt to open us a bottle, okay? Nice meeting you, Ryan. The pleasure is all mine. Liv! Coming. <clears throat> Sorry, Jeffrey. Uh, I'm all thumbs today. <laughs> yeah, well, let's try to get control of all of your fingers tonight, please. You heard Joel. There's a lot of writing on tonight. The pressure's on. Yeah. Are you totally freaking out? What? I said, are you totally freaking out? About what? The wedding, hello. I'm not even thinking about it. Then what are you thinking about? You have been in another world since we came out to the pool. What? I was just, no. Ryan, did you cook down those apples enough before you put them in the blender? Sometimes talking to you is like talking to a brick wall. A very pretty brick wall with great bone structure and gorgeous hair. I mean, seriously, your hair is fucking stunning. But pull it together, girl. I can't serve puree like that. It's too chunky. It looks like baby poo. I don't know what's going on inside your head, but you're getting married. Shouldn't you be happy? We don't have time to be redoing shit. I can throw it in a hand blender, add some cream. Ryan, this isn't some reality food show. This is life. Joel likes to paint pretty pictures. He and I both know what's real. Do you love Joel? Of course I do. I'm trying to do my best. Either you do it or you don't. Now, out of my way, let me fix this. There's nothing to fix. <laughs> I appreciate your concern, Charlie, but for reals, girl, butt out. I am just looking out for you. He loves me, and I'm going to be his trophy wife and live happily ever fucking after. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go drink some nail polish. Hey, tell Kurt to bring out another round. Please? Ooh, and some of those strawberries he gets from the farmer's market. And cucumber slices. Sounds refreshing. <laughs>
I doing here? I'm working. The better question is, you have a fiance? Ryan? You must think I'm a total bitch. Well, now that you mention it, yeah, that was along the lines of what I was thinking. Look, when I first met Joel, I was already, you know, fuck, floundering, Ryan. It was a dark time, you know? My parents cut me off after I dropped out of college. I'm just so not that girl. I still don't talk to them. It's totally out of control. And then, when Joel came into my life, everything changed. Well, it sounds like you've got it all figured out. Joel seems like a douche. But hey, he's fucking loaded, right? He can definitely offer you way more than I can. So, I'm just gonna head back to the kitchen. Ryan. What? Nothing. Fucking typical. This isn't easy for me. Who do you think you're talking to, babe? All we know is easy. Shit, slice us open and mop up the insides with a fucking piece of baguette. What are you talking about? It's a fucking metaphor. Over easy eggs, yo. Tell me one thing you care about that's outside of yourself. Ryan. Come on, Liv. One thing. Give me one thing. Stop. One fucking thing. Oh, God. You can't even do it. It's ridiculous. Do you love him? Are you in love with him? Are you gay or straight? Or a fucking pair of balls. Yeah, I'd bet you'd like that, wouldn't you? What do you want from me? I don't want anything from you. I want you to fuck, get mad, have an emotion, care about something. What are you doing? You don't even know, do you? Joel is good to me. I don't know how to be anything other than what I am. Thank you for finally being honest. <laughs> this house is fucking massive. P.S. That is not the bathroom. Do you know where the bathroom is? Because I got the piss. Kitchen. Now. Yes, sir. Thank you.